Let me teach you how to download and install all the mods 10 for Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and click that second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, CurseForge is actually a mod pack launcher that is going to allow us to install mod packs like all the mods 10. Go ahead and click on that second link. Let's scroll down to step one. And if you don't want to read through the whole guide, just go ahead and click where it says download CurseForge here. That will redirect you over here. Just give it a second for it to load. And then just go ahead and click where it says download a standalone. You also could scroll down and choose the version that fits you the best. But in this video, we're going to click the download standalone. That will actually begin the download immediately for the CurseForge installer. And while the CurseForge installer is downloading, let me let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you want to play all the mods 10 with friends, Apex Hosting is definitely the best way to do this because they will actually create a server for you and the server will support mod packs, including all the mods 10. And if you don't believe me, just go ahead and click on that first link in the description, click on get started, select Minecraft, and then select which server suits you the best. Now for all the mods 10, you will need the six gigabyte RAM because of all the mods that all the mods 10 has. Just go ahead and select the six gigabyte and click order now. Now in here, all you have to do is click on the server version and then just type in all the mods 10 and as you can see you just have to select it and then just click continue and finish up setting up your server now the whole process of creating the server will literally take less than five minutes they actually have locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging and something that i personally love about apex hosting is that you could actually control the server console through your phone which means that you could be away from the house and still have access to your server and stuff because you could create the server and still control the server console through your phone again i'm going to leave that first link in the description for 25 percent off and now let's keep going with the tutorial now once the curse version installer downloaded let's go and drag and drop it into our desktop just drag and drop it from your recent download history now the next step is to actually launch the installer make sure your minecraft game is closed as well as your minecraft launcher and just double click on the curse for installer now the installer is going to open and it's going to look something like this just go ahead and click on next click that you accept the terms and condition if you want to change the installation folder all you have to do is launch the installer as an admin if you launch it normally you're just going to install it by default click next again and just wait for curse to install now once curse finish finished installing this is what it's going to look like in here i'm actually going to skip the intro i recommend that you do the same thing unless you really want to go through the intro but if you just want to follow along just to skip the intro and as you can see there's actually an update i'm gonna go ahead and update my curseforge real quick and as you can see the update just happened curseforge open again i'm just gonna go ahead and close the patch notes for the update all you have to do now is select minecraft right here and then just click the stand there and click continue and just give it a second for it to load and then that'll bring you over here which will most likely be empty for most of you like it is right here unless you had ever installed mod packs in the past using curseforge what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to browse and in here where it says search you're gonna actually type atm10 just like that atm10 and then go ahead and hit enter and that is actually going to bring all the mods 10 right here to your screen make sure it is the one by atm team and all you have to do now is hit install here on the top right and give it a second for it to install now after all the mods 10 install in order for us to play we could either hit play in here if you're still here in this menu or you could just head over to your mod packs where it says my mod packs and you'll find it right here where you could click play again if you need to update all the mods 10 all you have to do is right click and change the version and then just go ahead and use the most newest release in here which right now we do have the most newest one and then you just hit continue and you have the newest all the mods 10 in here now anytime you want to play all the mods 10 you're gonna have to launch curseforge because this is where your mod pack is going to be stored if you open your regular minecraft launcher you won't see all the mods standing there so you do have to open all the mods 10 through curseforge anyways once we're ready to play let's go ahead and hit on play in here and that is actually going to open this minecraft launcher in here which is still an official minecraft launcher by mojang it's still the good minecraft launcher and everything but since this is an instance that is open through curseforge we're gonna have to probably re-log in once it finishes updating in here so most of you will have to re-log in i'm actually gonna have to re-log in right now because this is the first time I actually saw CurseForge in this computer right here on my work computer, which is where I'm making this video. So once the launcher opens, we're going to have to relog in. Let's go ahead and give it a second. Now, once the launcher opens, you're actually going to have to relog in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and see you once I'm inside the launcher. And once you log in, you're going to be over here. As you can see, this is your regular Minecraft launcher. You're going to go ahead and head over to Minecraft Java Edition right here. And as you can see, you're going to have all the mods 10 automatically selected in here, right here on the bottom left. You could actually head over to installations, hit these three dots and hit edit, then more options. And if you need to change the RAM amount for all the mods, 10 this is exactly where you're gonna do it as of right now i have four gigabytes i mean all the mods 10 it kind of recommends that you use six gigabytes at least but i'm still gonna launch it with four gigabytes 4096 megabytes actually equal four gigabytes by the way if you're confused this is equal to four gigabytes approximately four gigabytes but yeah if you need to change the ram that's where you're going to do it but if you just want to play right away all you have to do is just keep it selected in here and hit play you might have to actually click that you understand the risk go ahead and click that you understand the risk of playing modern minecraft and stuff and then hit play again all right and once the game opens as you can see in here it says welcome to minecraft i'm gonna keep then a raider off you just hit continue here and now you could either play single player or multiplayer if you actually took advantage of that deal with the first link to create your server with apex hosting so i'm actually gonna go ahead and play single player this time just gonna go ahead and create a quick world in here i put it in creative so i could fly around and then i'm gonna hit create the world and once inside the world as you can see we're now playing all the mods 10 this is a newest version of all the mods and here we are now you just get to play the game using all the mods 10 and there's actually a little structure in here so yeah guys that is pretty much how to download and install all the mods 10 for minecraft i hope this video was useful 
I hope you were able to do it. If it worked for you, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.